Good day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the 14th episode in the first season for the FIFA 17 Chelsea Career Mode series. Only a few more episodes remaining in this first season. Will we win the Premier League title? Will we continue our FA Cup run? All of that will be further revealed in today's episode. Thank you for all the feedback you gave on the last episode where I asked what you think I could do to make these videos better. I am taking it on board and I will put it into effect for season two. Anyways, fellas, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. We are posting career mode content on the daily. But without further ado, let's get into your press conference questions. As always, fellas, if you want to have a chance to get your question featured in the next episode, don't forget to leave a question in the comment section down below. The first question in today's press conference comes from Hamo, who says, With Diego Costa hitting some form, how do you see Michi Bacuay's role in the club? Michi, his role is the same as it has been all series long. I want to develop him and Dybala together so that they can be the future of Chelsea. Granted, Costa has been in good form, but I still am considering selling him and picking up a better player. So, Batshuayi's role stays the same. He's still going to be getting just as much game time, if not more now that Dybala has been injured. So, nothing much changing with Batshuayi. Crazy Bob says, Can you make double uploads, please? This is something I know it doesn't really relate to what I do within the series, but a lot of people have been asking for double uploads, and I'm just going to let you know, that isn't much of a possibility. These videos take a lot of time to make, and I'm really struggling even to get them out daily, so getting a double upload would be pretty tough. Maybe I'll do a few when I'm on um, uni break for about five months at the end of the year. November to March, I'm actually off uni, and I'm going to be giving YouTube a bigger crack, but... Uh, at the moment, I'm going to uni three, four times a week. Uh, I'm doing some other stuff on the side, so I really can't get double uploads out. I'm sorry about that. Daniel Neary says, Are you going to move on to a, next, a new club Sorry, in the next season or two like most of Chelsea's managers? Now, I've said all throughout this series that I plan on doing three seasons with Chelsea. My goal is to win the Champions League and to win the Barclays Premier League. We might do that Premier League goal this first season, but the Champions League is my goal within the three seasons. If we hit it, I'll keep going to the three. If we don't, I'll move on. I'm just going to do three seasons, and then I will start a new one. And the final question comes from Shallywell99, who says, With the English national team struggling in major tournaments, do you see the young English players like Aina and Loftus-Cheek getting more game time and breaking into the national team in the next couple of seasons? I don't see why not. We've been giving, especially Loftus-Cheek, we've been giving him a lot of exposure and a lot of game time. And in all honesty, hey, he has really stepped up, so... I could see, I, don't, I was going to say I could see Roy Hodgson, or I could see Sam Allardyce, but I guess I could see whatever the new coach is, new coach is, I could see him giving Loftus-Cheek a start. It'll be tough for him, there's a lot of competition in, in the English side, but hopefully the new manager has a youth policy, has wants to develop the next generation of English superstars, and I think Loftus-Cheek and Aina are a good place to start. So that will conclude today's press conference, fellas. Thank you once again for your fantastic questions. Let's get into the good stuff, though. The gameplay with a match against West Ham at the Olympic Stadium. Alright, so the opening game in today's episode, we are on the road. The first time in FIFA I have ever played at this new Olympic Stadium, the new West Ham United Stadium. Pretty interested to see how we go on it. It is an overcast day in London, in Stratford, I do believe the suburb is, so let's see how we go. So here is the West Ham United starting 11. Still can't believe that they brought in Bellerin. They've also got Veltman from Ajax, I do believe. Simone Zaza up front, Dimitri Payet out on the left, and they've got Kuyate and Obiang in the midfield. No Mikel Antonio, which I'm happy about. He is one of the best players in the Premier League so far this 
this season, in my opinion. He's got me so many points in Fantasy Premier League. And then here is our starting 11 for today's game. It's a little bit rotational because we have had a little bit of fixture congestion. But luckily, we have about a week after this game, before our next game. Hazard starting up front due to all the strike injuries that we have had. West Ham with an early corner here. It is going to be Gokan Torre, the former Besiktas player. With that one in there, Simone Zazar. It saves from Courtois. And it's punched away. Here we go. Can we hit them on the counter? Hammers. Nice through ball there to Michi Batshuayi. Can we get something going? Michi. Going. I see you through the middle. Victor Moses. Make the run, Hazard. We're going to go. Eat it, Hazard. Oh, he missed it. You're kidding me. Hazard missed it. Oh, my God. He's just pulled that one ridiculously. Got Cantore on the attack. He's had a very lively start to the game here for West Ham. Passing that one in the area. The Hector Bellerin. We're just trying to defend. He goes to Simone Zaza and he scored it. What are you doing, Courtois? Zaza has scored that goal and West Ham had the lead. I'm absolutely kicking myself after that even Hazard miss, but really, we can't let Zaza score that one. Hazard, going to Hammers. I see you out wide. Michi Batuai, he's gone through. We're going to turn back. We're going to get back. Hammers hits it. Oh, just over. Good stuff from Kante in the midfield to win that one. Now we've got a counter-attack brewing. I see Batuai. We'll go to Batuai. I'm just going to run it in. No, I'm not. It was a poor touch. He turns, though. Michi, trying to get into a shooting position. He does. Michi off the crossbar. Come on. That would have been such a good goal. Falls straight out there to Ivanovic. Someone make some space. We'll go back to Peony Sisto. He's going to go there. Eden Hazard. He's cutting around. We just need some space. Go on to Michi. Michi shoots. Michi gets the equaliser. That is a fantastic goal from Michi Batshuayi. Definitely a well-deserved goal as well. He's been really dangerous, hitting the crossbar. And every time he gets the ball, he looks pretty good. So I'm happy that he's the goal scorer. West Ham on the attack here in the final stages of this game. Kuyate. Going through there to Lanzini. We can't give them an opportunity. Lanzini up against Kurt Zuma. He goes in the box there to Kuyate, who goes back. No, Antonio's open and he misses it. Oh, he's just done what Hazard did in the first half. It's something about that corner. As soon as I saw him well open, I thought we had conceded, but thank God for that. West Ham with the final attack of the game. Oh, they get straight through. How did they get past Azpilicueta there? He shoots. Thank God is a tame effort. And that's probably going to be full time. We'll belt it up the field and we don't get any more opportunities. It is a one all draw against West Ham. Very, very disappointed in that performance. First half we started so slow. A few very good opportunities missed. And that goal, I'm pretty angry about that goal. And Courtois keeping as a whole in that game was not up to par. He seemed to punch everything away instead of catching it. So Kurt Zuma has come to us asking for some more wages. I'm happy to give him more wages, but I don't know if we even have enough money to offer him a new contract. We'll go and see how much he wants. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Look in the top right. We have £2,500 in the wages, 1000 transfer budget, and he wants a £22,000 increase. Sorry, Kurt. Sorry, Kurt. You're going to have to wait till next season. So right now we are playing a different West team. We are taking on West Brom in the FA Cup quarterfinals, traveling to the Hawthorns. Hopefully we can qualify for the semis. So here is the tournament tree. Manchester United and Middlesbrough are qualifying for the semifinals so far. Let's see if we can join them. So here is the West Bromwich Albion starting 11 for today's game. So Ben Foster is in goals. Johnny Evans and Vukovic are the center backs. They've got Claudio Jakob, Sada Berahino, Phillips. They've got a decent side. We're going to have to be on our A game. Because here is our starting 11. It's a pretty strong side. I'm pretty serious about winning this FA Cup right now. We've come so far, so we may as well go the whole way. So we've got... Solanke and Costa starting up front. Sisto and Pedro on the wings and nine goal and in cam. Pedro going to Marcos Alonso. We're looking to get an early advantage here. Diego Costa holding it up. I see you pointing Alonso. He's onside. Alonso's through, but he doesn't have a good shooting opportunity. He goes back to Costa. Costa shoots and Costa scores. That was way too easy there. The West Bromwich Albion defense just seems to be ball watching and didn't even watch us. I was very surprised we even got the opportunity in the first place, but we'll take it. 1-0. Here we go. Ivanovic. 
He's passing that one to nine goal, and they're giving us a lot of space here. We'll just play that one through to Costa. I thought it would have been maybe Sisto. Nine goal land. Back heel. Fabregas is through. Fabregas is going to take the strike, and he scores it. This honestly feels way too easy. You guys might scream out and say, Oh, you've got sliders. You're playing on professional. I'm playing on world class. If I could show you that I was on world class right now, I would. But this defense... That's just gone to crap. They've got Johnny Evans, and I thought they would have been much more of a challenge. Here we go. Solanke. Going to Rajanan Golan. I see you. That's so easy for Diego Costa. Can he make it 3-0? Costa probably took it too heavy of a touch there. One too many touches. It's on, though. Ivanovic. Going to Marcos Alonso. Let's go for a long shot. Alonso! Oh. Here we go. Can we get a third goal before half time? Nan Golan. He's going to go to Costa. Costa's holding it up. He goes, Solanke, through there, oh, Costa, chips it, I didn't even mean to do that, I just pressed the LB button when I was shooting. They're on the attack here, West Brom, McLean, passing that one to Phillips, we're just defending, going there, long shot, but it was very, very poor, passing that one to Loftus-Cheek again, make the run, Solanke, we're going to thread it through, please be onside, Solanke, he's running through, we're going to take the strike, good save from Foster, and we pick up a corner, so it is the corner here, Pedro to whip this one in. Goes in there. Solanke with the header straight at Foster. There it is, fellas. We are heading into the semi-finals of the freaking FA Cup after a fantastic 2-0 victory away at the Hawthorns against West Brom. A very controlled victory and a great start as well helped us get the win. So taking a look at some of the other quarterfinals results. Man United beat Bournemouth 3-0, Middlesbrough beat Leicester 2-1, and Spurs beat Arsenal in the North London Derby 1-0, so we have either Spurs, Middlesbrough, or Manchester United to be drawn up against. Probably Middlesbrough would be the team I would most like. For the third game in today's episode, we aren't at home either. We haven't been at Stamford Bridge yet today, but we are travelling to the Britannia, although it says it is the Stoke City FC Stadium in this game, but I'm going to call it the Britannia. We are taking on Stoke City. Can we do it on a sunny Saturday afternoon in Stoke? So here is the Premier League table. You can't see it. I don't know why it's showing the middle of the table, though Man City in 10th is pretty random, but we are up in third position. Seven points behind Arsenal, so we need points. So taking a look at the Stoke City starting 11, Jack Butland in goals, a very good goalkeeper on this game. Wilfred Boney starting up front. Marko Anordovic and Zerdan Shakiri on the wings. Uh, the Ginger Perlo, or no, not the Ginger Perlo, the Welsh Perlo, or the Welsh Chavi in Joe Allen in the midfield. And then here is our starting 11, going with our youthful centre-back pairing of Zuma and Christensen. That's you why in Costa up front, Rodriguez in cam. Lads, can I just take a moment to admire this field? It looks like carpet. Oh, I love this grass. Here we go. As for the quitter, throwing that one into Batshuayi, who goes to Nemanja Matic, who goes to Hamez. Hamez turns. Hamez, oh, what a tackle, but Matic with the follow up off the post. Get the tap in. Costa gets the tap in. Not sure if it was Costa or Peters, but Costa's going to claim it, and that is going to give us. The 1 nil lead here at the Britannia. We got very fortunate with that one there. It just kind of fell to Matic, who was very unlucky not to score. And I, I'm going to give that one to Costa. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. It looks like he got a little bit on it, so we'll give Costa the goal. Brony on the attack, looking to get a quick equaliser, but Zuma makes a very nice tackle, who's now running away with it. He's going to play that one over the top. What a ball to Diego Costa. Costa's running through. Putting it back in there. Oh, Batu Wai took the header without me even pressing it. Well done. That's great initiative. Very unlucky not to get a goal there. Now Stoker attacking. And Bula getting into our box. Hits that one. Good save from Courtois. Win the header. Boney does, but Courtois takes it. Half a lie. Going to Mbula. Wilfred Boney. What is jockeying? Trying to not concede. Whelan shoots. Good save, Courtois. So a corner here for Stoke. We need to keep them out. It goes in there. They get a bicy bicycle. Martin Zindi. Oh my god, I thought Mbulu just scored. We're just looking for an opportunity to put this game to bed. It goes there. Costa. Ah, oh, good tackle, short cross. Stoke in the, on the attack in the closing minutes of this game. They go through there. Zerdan Shakiri, good save, Courtois. A corner here. We've made a few fresh substitutions. Needed some fresh legs on the field to hold on. They go to Wilfred Boney. Good save, Courtois. Get it away, Zuma. Come on, lads. We just need to hold on to possession. 
make sure that we get the three points here. Run the clock down. Stoke aren't pressing too hard. We might even get one more opportunity here. Victor Moses doing some skills. Moses, fresh off the bench. He's going to pass that one. Van Ginkle blocked. Goes to Batuai. He hits that one straight at Butland. But that is probably going to be full time. Yes, it is. What a win, lads. Very, very hard game against Stoke. They're not an easy team to break down, as you would have seen. And we come away from the Britannia with all three points. Anyways, fellas, that is where we are going to conclude today's episode of the Chelsea Career Mode series. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to leave a like on the video. There's only a few more episodes to go in this first season, so I hope you guys are very excited to see how we finish off the season, and I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. We are posting Career Mode content on the daily. Check out my social media links, my Twitter, my Instagram and my Snapchat, all three of those linked down below as well. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.